Hello. So tonight it's going to be a little bit different. I have my three favorite guys here um, right across the table from me. And I felt like it was just important to bring them into this because they've been wondering what I've been doing down here when they're yelling and fighting at night and getting ready for bed. So um, they're getting to see a little bit about it. So here we go. I'm going to flip this. And across from me, I have Landon. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Who are, what's your name? Brody. Billy. And how old are you, Brody? Seven. <laughs> no. Eight. 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 Knox. Like six. Six. I Jonathan just joined. So okay, he's cool. Two. Okay, now. <laughs> so tonight what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask a couple questions. Just like, um, and this does have a point. It comes to a point really quickly after they get done. All right, so I'm going to start with the youngest no. because the first shall be the last. The last, last shall be first. And the first shall be last. In the kingdom of heaven. All right, so Knox, what is your favorite Bible story? David and Goliath. Can you tell me about that story? Um, he oh, had a stone and he hit him in the face and then he <laughs> fell on the ground. <laughs> Very good. So you like when the little man wins? Yeah. yeah. Just like he's versing me, but he never wins. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, so Brody, what's your favorite Bible story? Uh, Moses. <laughs> Stop. Let, okay, no fighting. Okay. <laughs> Let's yeah, keep it together, okay. boys. All right, come on, Brody. What's Jonah your favorite? Jonah the well. Jonah in the well. Tell me a little bit about Jonah in the well. He gets swung by a well. <laughs> and what did Jonah? What did Jonah do in the well? He slipped there and died. He prayed. Now did he, he die? Prayed. No. He Why prayed. did he? Do you remember why he got swallowed in the well? He because was on his he way didn't to. Wanna, oh, he didn't he was on his way to Nineveh. Jesus and and because Jesus had told him to go and preach the word. But he didn't, and he got on the boat, so he fell off, got eaten by a whale, and smelled like fart for three days. <laughs> okay, so he had now to deal with it. He had, he had to deal with it. it. Okay, but he prayed. Suck it up, Jonah. All right, now. <laughs> Lena, what's your favorite Bible verse? The resurrection. Okay, tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so oh. Jesus died on the cross after a slow and yeah. really painful death. And he re on the third day he was dead. He resurrected and came back alive back to alive. And then after that everyone was everyone was suspicious and everyone thought that people had stolen the body. But no, and then he had gone to heaven. Then, then after the people heard, they heard that he can't, then they saw him, and they got to see the holes in his hands and everything like that. The his, twelve disciples. Yeah, the twelve disciples. Okay, so if you, if if Jesus, stop. Take your guys listen. If Jesus, well, okay, there you stop. Me. Okay. And he said he, I'm in his face. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay. If Jesus was to ask you, if he came to you right now, mm -hmm. and he asked you, would you follow me? Would you follow me and tell the world about me? Would you go, Knox? Would you go? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Brody, would you go? Brody, would you go? Yes. Landon? I would go, and I wouldn't tell my family because I know Jesus said um, a fox has a den and a bird has a nest, but human don't have any place to rest his head. So. I'm really shocked that you. That's very good, Landon. That's I heard awesome. That in church. That's good. So, so, I didn't even ask that. so why would you go? Why would you go? Why would you just? Why? I mean, I want to preach the word of God. Why? Because I want people to know God and be touched by Him. So what about you? So why you would go you go? With, why would you go with Jesus? Wouldn't you have like doubts, or would you just go? I would just go because it would be fun, and it would be really fun to spread the word. Wouldn't it be fun to see Jesus perform all those miracles? Yeah. Knox, why would you go, bud? Uh, because um, I forgot. No, would okay. So would Jesus kind of? Would you think when you see Jesus, it would be like, oh my goodness, I know he's. The perfect one, so I'm gonna follow him, right? You would just, you had no, you'd have no doubt in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I would no. just say no clue. I'm just following. Right, you have no clue, so you just go, right? Because I know he the won't mysterious is the Angus, go and put me somewhere and just hurt me. Don't what, what? That he wouldn't hurt you? Yeah. So then, so last question. Have you asked, and, and don't mention any names, have you asked people in your classroom if they know Jesus? Yes. Only one. Okay, Brody, have you? One. Absolutely, yes. Have you? Yes, a lot. And so, why is it important for you to tell them about it? Why are you Why are you asking them? Because I want them to go to heaven, and I don't want them to go to hell. I want them to be forever in Jesus' paradise. I want them to go to heaven, not hell. You care about them, right? Uh -huh. They can go first. No. Why, why, did, why have you asked? Because when I was asking them, um, I didn't really know what to say, so I was just asking him, um, do you believe in Jesus? And he said, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I so it's very important for you, right? Good job, no name. To yeah. go on. Yeah, let's not mention names. Okay, so we're all, we're going to pray together. All right, so let's all bow our heads and pray. Dear God, I thank you for my three sons. God, I thank you for their hearts. God, I thank you that they have a childlike faith, God, that we, I, I pray that as adults that we begin to see that childlike faith and that you would just put that into the every heart, every heart um, that, that I see, God. Lord, I lift you up, and God, I thank you for um, just blessing me with healthy, beautiful children, God. Lord, I pray that their lives will be a testimony unto you, God. I pray that we will do whatever you have in our will as parents, God. We, we give their lives to you right now, God. And we know that beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are yours. So, God, you do with them as you would like. And, God, just I pray that their lives just be covered and blessed by you their entire lives. And, God, that their pure, pure purpose in life, God, is that they would show others the good news that you have done, and God, that they will just share their testimonies with each and every person that they encounter. Lord, we love you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I love you, boys. Okay. Love you guys. All right, go upstairs and get uh, 30 more minutes of your TV time. Wait, do we get an hour now? We get an hour. Yeah, we, we get did an hour. this. All we right. Went to hey, North Facebook, do, do they deserve an hour? Say yes or no. Take as long as they want if do you want Do they deserve an hour of TV time? Or 30 minutes. They're 30 saying minutes. yes. They're saying yes. You can go. An hour? I need to see the response. Go, Landon. Go. Daddy lays the wall down. I said there was going to be a message with this. And so... Okay. Can you uh, say, um, wake us up today? Are we going to go to school tomorrow? You were going to school tomorrow, yes. Okay. Okay. Good night. I love you all. So it says, Matthew 18, 3. And said, truly I say to you, good night. Unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Luke 18, 17. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. Matthew 19, 14. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. So just in the last three verses, what I find amazing is he said, Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. So I feel like in our um, everyday life, we put um, so many restrictions and so many different things. Thank you, Landon. Okay. As... <laughs> As Christians, we make it so much harder than what it really is. And if we could just see in their eyes when I asked them, this was not planned, I asked them if they would go. If they would go, if Jesus was in their presence, would they go and minister to the world? And, and they all said yes. And because I, they know how they just, they, they, are, they think like a child. And, and sometimes we think, oh my gosh, children, you know, they drive us crazy, and they do. Look at me after a long day with them. But 
That is exactly what God wants. God wants us to think, or God wants us to speak without thinking pretty much. He wants us to speak from our hearts. And that is exactly what they were doing tonight is they were speaking from their heart. And I just, I mean, I'm blessed when they come and they tell me that they asked a student in class if they go to church or if um, they believe in Jesus because they know the realness of God and they know that there is a hell and that they love their friends so much that they would present them with that question because they have a childlike faith. Um, it also says uh, Mark 10, 13 through 16. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked him. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. Matthew twenty one sixteen, And they said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise. Proverbs 22, 6. And this is where, as parents, we're responsible for. So um, on that, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Matthew 18, 6. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great milestone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. So, in, in doing this Bible study, uh, or just talking over FaceTime, I thought it was important because, you know, it doesn't matter if the world has, hears this and if my kids don't get it. So, in all actuality, the best thing that we need to do is we have to live that life in front of our children and and we have to be like Christ every day if not only for our kids to see that example so um, thank you for watching I am sorry I got so emotional but man I'm they like I said they drive me nuts on a daily basis but their hearts are so precious and if we could just all put away all the the issues and the politics and the junk and if we could just think like them and, and not worry about you know I was watching Ashley Judd's thing this morning I'm like what is going on I mean like this is nuts and my mind starts going political and in all actuality all we have to do is just be like those three boys now with more manners but with their friends they're at school, I'm amazed of how God uses them and how they just go. They go without question. And so, if anything, if we pray um, as we sleep and, and we pray for that one person, we continue to pray for them. If, if we pray for anything, let it just be that we are more like children in our faith. That there's no, oh, this person's a hypocrite or this person. I get it. That's the way the world is, and it's frustrating. But if we could just love one another, and when Jesus tells us to go, go, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Thank you for watching tonight, and I will see you tomorrow.